Welcome. Today we're going to be looking at ebook features in Mac and Via. You can watch our first video, Mac and Via Part 1, on to learn how to log in. Once you log in and everything, it should bring you to the this page. You can look to your left hand side of the screen and should you should be able to see ebooks, you can click on it. And then you can browse through the ebooks only as you wish. For the ebook that we're going to be looking at today will be Abandoned Amusement Park. You can click on it to learn more information about the book. You can click on Open Now or to open the book in the new tab. You also have a book option in order to add it, the book to add to favorites. You can let it view your book back or if you want to remove it from favorites. You also have a return section if you wish to return the book, but for current us, we're going to keep it checked out. You also have a citation format. It gives you four different citation formats on which you can use. Now if you go back to the book, it should show you this. If you look to your top left hand corner, it should show you Abandoned Amusement Park and the author showing you the book. As you can see now, we have Abandoned Amusement Park. If you look to your left bottom hand corner, you should show you a bunch of icons. The first icon is the book information icon, which you can click on it for lear to learn more information about the book. The book information. Next to that is the table of contents. You can click on it and it should show you all the chapters. You can click on different chapters and which you can choose. It also gives you the chapter titles as you can see. The icon next to the table of contents is the audio play. You can click on it in order, to, in order for the book to be read to you. An electric park, Kansas City, Missouri. When Electric Park opened, its buildings and towers blazed with the brightness of 100,000 lights. As you can see, it should read you an audiobook version of it. Next to that is a single page double page. You can view the book either single page or you can look at it two times per pages. Next to that icon is a horizontal and vertical read. You can, if you click on it, you should be able to read the book vertically. Or if you click on it again, you should be able to read the book horizontally, as you can see here. If you look on the icon next to that, it's a night mode. You can darken the screen. Or if you're in a dark room, you can make it negative. And you can click on it again, and it should bring you back to the original. You also have print option, as you can see there. The icon next to that is a full screen mode. You can click on it or to view the book full screen. You also has a zoom in and a zoom out button right next to each other. That is next to full screen mode. 